Hey guys, so I know that I yeah, yeah. So I know that I, <laughs> So I know, got it. That I look like shiz today, but that's okay. Um. Oh. So this video is supposed to be kind of funny. Um. Well, I'm gonna explain the video for a couple seconds before I show you because I guarantee you won't be able to hear it unless you're listening for it. I picked up a violin today. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I pay, play three concert instruments, and I play uh, six other instruments on top of that that I'm semi-decent at, but kind of mediocre, and I only know basics of. Um, or some of them I know more than basics, but I mean, like, I'm never going to take it further than where it is. Like, I'll practice it and stuff, but you know what I mean. Like, I'm never going to try to get it to the level that I can play classical Bach at whatever so <laughs> picked up a violin it's like my third time picking up a violin right but usually I just play open strings and I'm usually really good at open strings but suddenly you give me this piece of crap 80 only $80 violin that you really need to put a lot of rosin on else it really sounds like even crappier um, and it sounds worse than usual <laughs> so without further ado if you listen you can find out what that sounded like. Just you have to like really listen for it. So, you can sort of hear it in the background. It sounded bad. I, sh I probably should have put more rosin on it. Um, and I was kind of pressing down a little harder on the notes that I wasn't being able to get out. So, that's the one thing you don't do with the violin, because then it really sounds like the te che yeah, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So, um, yeah, and I knew that going into that. I was just like, ah, who cares? I'll never play this instrument ever again, but I am hoping to buy one. I'm saving up. I've got a whole instrument fund, and that's the next one that I want to buy. So, looking at those. But, uh, I expect it to be between 500 and 1,000, because that's how much my beginner flute would cost secondhand. So I figure if I buy a secondhand violin, it'll probably be between, be between 500. Although, from what I'm reading, a uh, first-hand beginner violin, <laughs> student violin, would, would cost between 500 and 1,000, but I don't think that includes, um, I was about to say reeds, uh, rosin and bow, and definitely doesn't include strings. Um, although I've seen a couple of deals where it includes strings. And then I have to buy a case, too, so I mean, like, you know, there's a lot to add on. Um, but that all out of the way... It's kind of funny. Uh, that was kind of my day today, learning violin. Uh, that was kind of like the highlight of my day, in fact. We had like a jam session too. Uh, not there. <laughs> we had a jam session earlier in the day because it was the seniors' last day of school and we've got like 50 seniors in our music class, so we just had a jam session for half of it. That was fun. That was very fun. Point is, I'm now teaching my... I'm now learning violin. Or so I think I am. <laughs> ah, thank God my violin friend wasn't in the room. She was the one who taught me a C. And I kind of took it all over from there. And then my teacher told me that the thing I was doing to get up the scale was correct. So then I felt really accomplished. And, um... It was nice. Basically, you start on a C, and you have to know where that is. I can't explain where a C is, but um, I learned it. Apparently, you can play it one finger, but the way she taught me was two, and that makes sense because you lift it up. That's the B. Yeah, something like that. Um, two fingers on the first string, so the string that's on this side, like nearest your shoulder. Um, and then 
from there you go like three quarters well she said three quarters of an inch it doesn't actually it's it doesn't feel like three quarters of an inch nor does it really look like it but when you hear a D when you hear something that sounds like a D that's a D and then next she was like oh put your finger right there down no you don't you have to think whole step like whole whole half whole 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 half like you have to think that in your mind when you're playing and then you have to also listen to see if it's the right note because everything is by memorization and how in tune the instrument is. So, it was kind of funny learning, but I think I figured out the basics okay. <laughs> um, don't collapse your wrist. I learned that somewhere. I don't know where I learned that. She didn't tell me that and no one told me that. I think I just kind of, I heard it somewhere. Yeah, I definitely heard it somewhere. Don't collapse your wrist. Which is hard to do! Okay? You want to. It just, it makes you want to collapse your wrist. And you can't. And it's just like, oh, I need to. But you can't. And I, that's all I did playing that scale. I actually played it like four more times other than that. And that's all I worked on was not collapsing my wrist. I was like, gosh darn it, I'm going to buy a violin and I'm not going to collapse my wrist. <laughs> um... And then there's this weird trick, and I don't understand what it means, but my violin friend was like, uh, she's like a freaking prodigy, and she can play two concert instruments that are completely different. Like, my concert instruments are all woodwinds. She can play um, violin, and she plays, she's learning piano, but she's learning really well, and it's only been like a year, maybe? I don't know. It's like, she's freaking amazing. I was like, I hate you. <laughs> um, but she's she, I don't really understand what it means, but apparently it's something like down the highway, down the highway, up the freeway? I don't know. It doesn't make sense, but I know that it's going to be louder and heavier if you go down, and it's going to be lighter and softer if you go up, or, yeah, sure, up. Got it. Okay. <laughs> um, so, something like that. That might be reversed, but you get the point. And that's, that was my lesson for today. That is my advice to all of you. I don't know what it means, and I don't think I'm even saying it right, but down the highway, up the freeway. Or something similar. I'm sure I could Google it. Maybe I should try. Wait. Violins. <sighs> Down the highway. I'm going to type in, because I know flutes have a lot of weird sayings. Violin sayings. Sayings. <laughs> la, 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 la. No, but there's another one that I've heard. Yeah. That's actually a famous quote, but I've heard it said, um... Yeah, there's this quote here, because these are quotes. That is, um, every person, this is a, this is something you hear in everything. Every person is important. It doesn't matter whether you play the violin, the flute, the cello, or the drums. You're still part of the orchestra. Yeah. Um, that's a flute saying, too. And it kind of goes back and forth. It's a famous quote by anonymous, <laughs> by an anonymous person. But I've heard it like, oh, but flutes are the best, or oh, but violins are better. Violins are worth more than yeah, they are. But whatever. Violins and flutes are always on, like, the melody lines. So we're pretty sweet. And that's all I have to say. I can't find that. But apparently it's something that her teacher told her. And I don't know what it means. And I don't think she does either. Because she didn't explain it to me. She was just like, oh, I don't know. It's just something we say. Well, what does it mean? <laughs> oh, psh, I don't know. 
Well, the flutes even know what their things are. Like, we, we, we just say... <laughs> Basically, flutes just tell each other to shut up. <laughs> you suck. Just sit there. <laughs> I get that a lot, actually. No. Um, that's all. That's all I have to say for serious this time. Love you all. Bye.